Hey everyone, Jessica here. So in this tutorial, we're still working with our 24 karat gold brushes. And I'm gonna give you a little quick tip to show you how I created these, um, this like love graphic. And so what I did was I started with the base, which is wet brush number four. And I go over here to my side goal, my sidebar to sample the, the image to pull up into my brush. And um, depending on where you sample on the image, uh, it's going to be lighter, darker. So, you know, you can just play with it and have fun, but it's always different. You know, it's going to always be a little bit different every time. So to sample the, the um, colors from here, I click Option on a Mac, and I think it's Alt on a PC, and creates your cursor. And then I pulled up some gold from down here to give it a little bit slightly darker color so you can see it over here. So then I'm just going to go to this, and here you can just freehand it um, like I did. I didn't do any particularly fabulous, like special kind of lettering. But, you know, if you are making this, you can always um, type out a font and then use that as a guide. And that's a really good trick to, you know, when you're not like maybe a lettering master or something. But I'll just go over here, and with this brush, I'll create a little L. And if it's a little like jerky for you and it's not so smooth, up here is the smoothing. So you can take that up and maybe I will actually to like maybe 50 because I don't have the steadiest hand in the world. And then when you do it, it's gonna smooth it out for you. And that's good enough. So we are not gonna worry about super particulars, but I'm gonna shrink that a little bit so I can add some sparkles to it. So um, next I added some little sparkles. So what I'm going to do is create a layer over this and I'm going to create a clipping mask. And I'm going to go to texture brush number five, which is one of my favorites. And on some of these places, just highlight. And I like to highlight the ends because sometimes you can get like not the coolest effect on the ends of the brushes. So I'm going to do like this and just add a little sparkle to some places. It looks pretty cool. I like how it looks like fuzzy, kind of fuzzy sparkles. I don't know where I added them on this one, but I, of course, I played around with it a little bit more. But we're just going to give you the idea here, and you can play around with it and make it your own. So that was texture brush number five, and I didn't even sample anything. I just used the colors that were already in the brush because I already have the brushes preloaded with colors. And then I believe I use scatter brush number four, but you can um, just you know play around and find one that looks good. But this looks this looks pretty cool. Let's see how big these are. A mm, little bit too big. So I'm gonna take this down. Yeah, it's okay. Scatter brush four, or I think I might use five because it's got a little bit more wiggly wiggly stuff. That's cool. I think I'll go with scatter brush number five and I'm going to take the size down a little bit but I'm going to go back over here and resample because once I change the size of the brush it's going to lose whatever color is already loaded in there and then it's going to um, then what it will do is it'll fill with color from the last time you sampled and I don't want the dark that I sampled down here so I'm going to go back over into my sidebar option select up here to get some gold and then go like this and kind of just draw some little nuggets around the around the edges and let's make my brush a little smaller but I think I did a better job on the other one but you get the idea so you can play around draw some nuggets if it doesn't look so right then you can select the texture from another layer and you can play around with it and then this one I really liked how it turned out so but that's the general formula of it and it's really easy it's just a few brush strokes and you can just have fun and kind of make it your own so if you have any questions just let me know and uh, just gonna keep checking out these 24 karat gold tutorials and hopefully you guys enjoy them because these brushes there's so many things you can do with them but I want to give you guys like a lot of ideas because I know sometimes when you are there sitting there, you're like, this happens to me all the time. I'm like, oh, okay, what, what can I do with it? You know? 
So I, I, I need to get an idea from somewhere else. So just trying to give you guys a lot of ideas and jumping off points so that you can create something for yourself.